Uh, how you doing? <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to our Stupid Rags and Seed I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. It's on Instagram, Twitter, Twitter, Twitter. Twitter. Juicy. It's so juicy. Could have got rid of the Bellwood Garden Vacation Squad. Ooh, yes. Works even in here. And we're still in India, of course. We are? Uh, yes. I think so. Okay. Uh, but is this a dream? This is the first time we were doing a food video on location. Yeah, this is amazing. Uh, where are we at? Sotwick. 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 And they're going to be um, making us a three course meal, and we're going to have the chef himself explain it because we will not be able to. Yes. Um, but uh, we will cut to that B roll right now. We are today presenting you two starters. One is Palak Patta Cha, which is baby spinach coated and deep fried and uh, dressed with three kind of uh, sauces. Uh, one is your yogurt, one is tamarind, and other one is mint, mm -hmm. and some condiment on it. And other one is malai broccoli, which is heated in, uh, roasted in uh, your tandoor, Indian clay oven. And it reaches around 450 or 20 degree Celsius, in which we roast the broccoli with Indian marination of yogurt, cream, and cashew nut, and cheese. And and garnish with edible flour. Oh. Do you need the flour? Yes. <laughs> That's gorgeous. Ooh. And this is the is so pretty. Which one is this one? This is one of the ones he was talking about. Ooh. Yeah, this actually this is the first one he described. It looks like a very fancy potato skin almost. So we're gonna we're gonna take these. What is it? Spinach. 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 Wow. Fried spinach. Are you ready? Love Long chat. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's mm, that's like, really, really good. It's, yeah, it's like almost the consistency of a chip. It's like but, a chip. It's like a combination. It's in between a chip or like a fried tempura thing. Ridiculously fancy Indian nachos. Yeah, beyond <laughs> anything beyond nachos. Here's what's amazing to me: the balance of flavors on this. There's not like this amalgamation of overpowering. It's this this delicate combination of flavors, right? Oh, this is really really wow. good. I like that a lot. Oh man, not spicy at all. That is phenomenal. One of my favorite things I've eaten like in my life. Yeah, that is good. Very unusual. Yeah, I've never had anything never like had that. Never had anything like it. How do they get really, how do they get the spinach really like that? Good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Now we got some broccoli. With... Now we got some that edible flour, right? Yeah, yeah, we can eat that. So for should we try the flour first? We gotta go with the flour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you have this half. Okay. So <laughs> It's like an edible flower. My favorite flower I've ever eaten. I haven't eaten a lot of flowers in my life. That's nice. I don't normally eat flowers. I don't normally eat flowers either, but that's really nice. And so this is interesting. Okay, I'm gonna go this route with this. I did not realize pomegranates had such a big They're prominent, prominent like everything thing. Everything we've had has had some Or is it just seasonal? And I'm a big lover of the pomegranate. Uh, I don't know for sure. Okay. Love me some broccoli. I'm going to are oh, you going to go the proper way? I'm okay. going the proper way. All right. I guess we'll be civil. We'll be civilized with this one. And see. Slouch him. This is delicious. Holy oh, hell. Oh. So, oh, in the South, at least in, in, in America, there's thing, broccoli and melted cheese, right? right? All over. And so it has that consistency, but it's so much more complicated than that. Way more complicated. It's not as heavy. Mm -hmm. And the pomegranate on it adds this little... What is in I that? would have never in a million years thought the pomegranate and broccoli would go together. What did he say was in the... Because there's... Love. <laughs> it's it, just... Isn't, before he cooks it... Isn't there always love I, in actually, Indian food? Right after it comes off, he says, I love you. I love you. I love you. 
and then you taste the love. That is really good. That is absolutely and so complex. incredible. And look at the char on that freaking bad boy right mm. there. There's the nice little char on the edge that adds a little crunch and some smokiness. This is the first time we've had like, <laughs> I, th I think this would be considered like high in Indian food, right? It makes me happy. Um, you crying? So we had so yeah, good. yeah. That's that's really good. Oh, that's that's it's so good. I would I love them both. I'd give oh, this a nine out of ten. I give the other yeah. thing a ten out of ten. I, I'm they're equal to me. Yeah, um, they're equal in terms of their being. I actually because I love broccoli. Yeah, that I love for broccoli me too. sends me a little over no, the they're, edge. they're both phenomenal. They're fan. Can't go wrong with those. If you order so, those, it's that is magnificent. So this is a good start to the video. Yeah, I want. I've got to talk to him before we're done and let him know how beautiful that is. So now the uh, next course is... Main course. Main it course. Is Paneer Jaisalmer. It is inspired from uh, your uh, Jaisalmer area of Rajasthan, where people don't have uh, things to keep for a long time because it is deserted area. Mm -hmm. So uh, paneer and other things, they get easily. So we developed this uh, with, uh, with the uh, puree of cream, cream and your peas and uh, scented with uh, your cumin, mm. which is stuffed inside this cottage cheese, English cottage cheese. And the gravy is smooth and velvety of tomato. This cottage cheese? This is Indian cottage cheese. Ooh. And garnish with your nuts and palm grenade. Right. And then this is tomato? Tomato, right? creamy velvet, uh, and it is made with your cashew nut and tomato. And we eat it with a spoon. Beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> yeah with a spoon, yeah? <laughs> 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 Not and, with our fingers. And uh, naan is, of course, coming. Oh, okay. so you eat this with naan? So we can eat this with, you with can the naan. Have this it. Oh, this is market. Indian bread. <laughs> we need to taste the naan straight up. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, you, especially in him. He would you like to try it with us? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's up to standard. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. Ooh, that's hot. This Hello. Looks, this looks phenomenal. <laughs> I've never had naan that looks like this. It's slathered. We've only had naan in America. It's like a milieu flea, uh, like from Italy. You have thousands of layers, but it is not having thousands of layers, but it has layers yeah, in this. Right. And it's cooked in tandoor only. Oh, Indian clay oven. Oh. Yeah, that's a, you can feel that it came out of that clay oven. It smells like a tortilla. Oh, oh my word. Oh. And now, now again, you're... this is another version of uh, naan, which is uh, topped with your cheese. The thing I can equate this to is more from California. Mm. So the, a lot of Hispanic population. So I've had like homemade um, very similar to tortillas. tortillas. But it's a lot more, obviously a lot more flaky and uh, layered than a tortilla would be. So we should do this, yeah? yeah. Okay. Sure, sure. Is that what we're supposed to do? If the, the chef, if chef says that... Take the layer of the cottage cheeses. So just grab, grab this. Yeah. Yeah. Just break it with the food. Yeah. 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 That's how we have it. Okay. Gross. <laughs> Slouch it. Oh. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. You're really talented. Really? You make my own. <laughs> so like the the homemade style of the, the, the naan, which we've never had because we only had American naan. Um, but that has the consistency of what buttered chicken, like the, the curry. Very the similar chicken. to butter chicken similar. sauce. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, but it's so creamy and, and the cottage cheese is so good. Yeah, the combinations. Okay, so certain foods when you taste them, you know if the chef who created the food really understands what goes together and takes adventures and tries new things. This is as, as good as food gets right here. This is garlic so naan. good. Oh, we're, we're gonna go to the garlic knot. Okay. But don't tell me twice. This Just is have so bite good. Just have them and bite before. And by the way, 
Is there rice? We've never had Indian food in America because this, compared to anything that I've ever tasted anywhere in America, there's no comparison. None. Man. This is garlic naan. Just have well, it before this you is a version of naan, which is having cottage cheese on top and some other. There's cottage cheese on top. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Mm. Because people That's are influenced fantastic. with the uh, cheese. Mm -hmm. I feel uh, all the Americans are influenced with cheese and they, they start their cheese from since morning till night. Yes, yes. So, Americans love cheese. Love cheese. <laughs> this is really, really good. Holy moly, man. I love you. <laughs> I, I love, love you. you too, man. <laughs> <laughs> you love cooking, yes? Yes, I can tell. I taste it. Sincerely. Yeah, it's it's absolutely... You know when you see great works of art, you see a beautiful dance, or you see a beautiful movie, or you hear beautiful music, this is the same thing. You taste this and you know that this is an artist who loves what they do. Uh, only your words inspire us to cook it. How are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, this is the best Indian food I've ever, ever had. Ever had in my life, yeah. And we have more, right? Yeah. 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 Wow. <laughs> it's a gajar halwa. And oh! oh. <laughs> the Indians watching know what that is. And your gulab jamun. Oh. Yeah. If you just got turned on too. The gulab jamun I had from America, I hate it because it tasted like a sponge. We just had some from one of the places over there that I actually enjoyed because it was hot. And so I'm, I'm excited to have yours. I always say like if food is food network good to me, it's the kind of food that you would see on Food Network that's like Bobby Flay or Gordon Ramsay, some of the best chefs in the world. This is to me like that level of good. Wait, that's a glob jamun? This is a glob jamun? Yes, a glob jamun. Yes, it is. And this is halwa. Gajar and gur halwa. Wow. Hi, welcome back. Thank you, sir. You cook so fast. <laughs> what do we got here? Uh, it's a karsi halwa. Halwa, uh, carrot halwa means. Karsi means carrot. This one is your gulab jamun, triangle gulab jamun, which you will not find anywhere else. It's always yeah. uh, it, uh, serves the ball, right? Uh, yes, it's like a ball always served. But we try to make in this, we have in, innovated this shape for uh, sattvic only. You can go for carrot halwa first. Okay. What, is, then, what is this? This is pistachio. pistachio. Oh, pistachio. Oh, wow. Wow, that falls apart. Yeah, I wasn't expecting it to just fall like that. Okay. Love you. <laughs> I was actually really nervous. But that is delicious. Holy cow! I was I thought it was wow. I was nervous when it, when it first came out because I thought it was going to be like spongy, but it kind of just melts in your mouth. It melts in your mouth, and it because of the pistachio, it almost is like a hint of baklava, but then it's not at all. And the carrot, my goodness, you again a beautiful combination of things that you know go together, but not a lot of people would think to put together. I don't even like carrot cake. No. That's an, in all sincerity, to call that carrot cake is kind of an insult to me. To yeah. this, this is way beyond a carrot cake. That's delicious. It's actually called carrot cake. I would never. Okay, yeah. I would. It's way above carrot. cake. I would never eat this if, like, you, if it wasn't just given to me. I would have never ventured into this arena. But that is I so good. I would have never thought to put these flavors together. Yeah, that's really incredible. Good. And so, should we cut this up or should I put the whole thing? In my mouth? <laughs> no. no, no, no. <laughs> Alrighty, I'm, let's see. I'm it's hot. hot, really hot. Very hot. Yeah. How you doing up there? Oh, oh. <laughs> my. Yeah, I just had another glob jamun in a different video, just from a different place. And that was the best glob jamun I'd ever had, and I could tolerate. But they still had some of that texture thing. There's no, because I the, the reason I didn't like it when we had an American, it tasted like a wet sponge. And this has more of a cakey texture. Oh, to the it. level, this level of, it's like street cricket versus like the Indian team. 
<laughs> Best this is the end. I have a, this I is the had. Indian team. <laughs> yeah, that is so good. How do you, how do you come Incredible. up with these different ideas? Like for, Actually, we born and brought up in Indian culture, and we used to have this about childhood. So, but the different version we have to come out for restaurant. Mm -hmm. So, people just like you always inspire us to. We are different because we have to stand in market. Sure, so yeah, you've got to stand out. Well, you, you absolutely do. You're, it's so good that I could seriously, if I came back like in ten years, right? My one of my first thoughts would be, I want to come back there and, and, and eat here. This is it, truly incredible. About as yeah, Rob Tillman, incredible. Indians, how is the glob jumping? Oh. <laughs> Mama, the validation you need. Well, thank you so much for allowing us to truly, because that was thank you the best I am privilege, and it's my privilege and pleasure to serve you all. Everybody, if you're ever here in Delhi, please come here and eat his food because yes. it is good. Sattvic restaurant, S A T V I K, Sattvic. It is as it's good as food gas. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Oh, oh my. Oh, oh, oh. All done. It's a Nirvana. What is this? Nirvana. This is a Nirvana. It feels uh, like we're going to enter Nirvana. And uh, it is made with there. orange juice, pineapple juice, and blueberry oh. juice. Is it alcoholic? <laughs> <laughs> That's Corbin's first thought. So, this is a, um, a, a smoothie? Or what is it? Actually, uh, we can say it's a smoothie, but yogurt is not there. Okay, gotcha. So, so it's a mixture, mixture juices. of food, juice, and it's good for health. And Down on the bottom. Bring it together, guys. Oh, <laughs> a bonding moment. <laughs> yeah, that's all. Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Raspberry? Uh, blueberry. Blueberry. <laughs> blueberry, pineapple. And your orange. 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 Um, this is gonna sound weird, but that tasted like a strawberry, well, like, well, like the best strawberry smoothie I've ever had, but with like nerds, the candy. There is a slight <laughs> nerds taste. Which is a compliment. A because compliment. I love that. <laughs> I don't know if you've ever had India. Uh, uh, in it nerds. does. It does taste like there's a little, there's a tanginess. Yeah. Okay, it has like a tanginess. Is that the orange? It's a combination of orange and blueberry and pineapple together gives it that tang. Oh, that's amazing. That is amazing. Oh wow, I'm glad we. <laughs> and Johnny, I'm glad we had that. That is. This one's me. All right, what else do we got? <laughs> Thank you so Beautiful much. Again. That was all so Beautiful good. Experience. I can't Thank wait you. to eat more of your food.